Hi, I'm Natalie Rhodes, and this is Into Math's fifth grade, module one, lesson four. I want to start off by going over the I can objective found here. It says I can multiply multi digit whole numbers by one digit numbers using regrouping and place value. The learning objective is pretty simple. We want students to be able to multiply by one digit numbers. In their prior learning, Students recognize that the value of a digit in one place of a multi-digit number is 10 times the value of what it represents if it was one place to its right, and they multiplied numbers up to four digits by one digit or two-digit numbers using place value and properties of operations, as well as using arrays and area models. All right, so jumping into the lesson, again, no spark your learning. This is really just a review of multiplication from fourth grade. We're going to read our number one word problem three times, as always. First, just getting an idea for what the problem is actually saying. So Otta walks 1,274 steps once around her neighborhood. If she rock, walks around her neighborhood three times, how many steps does she walk? All right, number two, identify your numbers in your operation. My numbers stick out, 1,274 and three. And she walks the neighborhood three times. Again, from last time, times means multiplication. And they're looking for the total amount of steps. Now, look at A. It says, estimate the number of steps Otta walks. Show your work. Okay, so I'm going to estimate. I would do either the thousands place or the hundreds place. I'm going to go ahead and do the hundreds place because I know students know their twelves times tables. So 1,274, I'm going to round to just 1,200, rounding to my hundreds place. So 1,200 being multiplied by 3. Like in what we did with our lesson 3, I'm going to isolate the numbers, multiply them together. So 12 times 3 is 36. And then my powers of 10, because there's two zeros, a hundreds place, is 10 to the second. So when I multiply those out mentally, 36 and two zeros, 3,600. So my answer should be somewhere close to 3,600. Okay, so now we're going to do B and work through the problem. And we're going to be taking notes about what's going on when we carry over. All right, so B, multiply to find the number of steps she walks. First step is multiply the ones. We're going to regroup some, some amount of ones as something. So four times three is 12. So I'm going to leave my ones place and I'm going to carry over my tens place. So I'm regrouping 12 ones as one group of tens and two groups of ones. So one ten and two ones is 12. All right, now I'm going to multiply the tens, add the regrouped tens. So seven times three is 21. All right, so now I have 21 tens, but I need to add that one above, so it's plus that one ten as well, which equals 22 tens. So I'm going to drop that two and carry over the next two for my 22. Then I want to multiply the hundreds and add the regrouped hundreds. So three times two is six hundreds plus that two hundreds, which is going to give me eight hundreds. So I'm just dropping the eight and I'm not carrying anything over because the eight is just eight. There's nothing to carry over. Then multiply the thousands. Three times one is just three. So Otta walks three thousand. 822 steps. How do you know if your answer is reasonable? Well, you can go ahead and write what you think is best. I think that my answer is reasonable because when I estimated, I got 3,600 and my answer was 3,822, which is pretty close, which means it is in a reasonable answer. All right, going on to page 18, I'm just going to be doing number two again. So I'm going to go ahead and read the word problem, pause it for you to work through it, and then I'm going to be going through it a little bit of a quicker pace. 
So number two says Michael walks to and from school each day. The round trip distance is 4,206 feet. What is the total distance he walks to and from school in five days? So I'm going to go ahead and read it again, picking out my numbers and my operation. So Michael walks to and from school each day. The round trip distance is 4,206 feet. What is the total distance he walks to and from school in five days? All right. So the round trip distance is 4,206 and he's doing that five days. So estimate the total distance, show your work. So here, I don't know off the top of my head, mental math, 42 times five. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and estimate into the thousands place. All right. So I'm going to do 4,000 times five. So isolating those numbers, four times five is 20. And then the powers is three zeros, 10 to the third. So I'm just going to go ahead and add those zeros as well. All right. So now that we have our estimated problem, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and ask you to pause and go through B and C and see if your answer is close to our estimated answer. All right. Hopefully you had time to go through your problem. It says B, Jason's solution is shown. Work through the steps to solve the problem and then determine his error. So we know that Jason is probably pretty close, but he's not exactly right. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply by the ones. Six times five is 30, carrying that three. And then multiply by the tens. So five times zero is zero, but I still have to bring down that three. So five times zero, zero plus three is still three. Five times two is 10. I'm going to have that zero carry the one. And five times four is 20 plus that one is 21. So the answer was just slightly off. So what's the total distance? 21,030 feet. Compare your work with Jason's. What error did Jason make? When Jason was multiplying, look at when he was multiplying zero times five, he dropped the zero, but the three from the six times five got on top of the two instead of on top of the zero. So you can write that in your own words, what you thought Jason's error was. And then go ahead and continue on with this lesson. Make sure you do your check for understanding and I will see you for lesson five.